Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a nice polynomial system. We have x plus y plus z equals 3 and x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 3. And we're supposed to evaluate x to the 7th power plus y to the 7th power plus z to the 7th power. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the second one because the second method is more fun which could be translated as more painful. All right, here's the second method. I'm going to go ahead and isolate x plus y from the first equation. So x plus y can be written as 3 minus z, right? And from the second equation, x squared plus y squared can be written as 3 minus z squared. So I'm kind of going to treat this as an equation or system in two variables, x and y, so z will be treated as a constant. So everything will be pretty much in terms of z. All right? So let's go ahead and cube both sides here. If I cube this, I get the cube of this. And if I cube x plus y, I usually cube it like this, x cubed plus y cubed plus 3xy multiplied by x plus y. That's also used with the cubic formula. And the right hand side, I'm going to cube it like this. a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab times a minus b. Again, there's a formula for the minus version. I don't know. It just makes it a little easier for me. Now, notice that from here, x plus y can be written as 3 minus z. So I can plug it in here. So let's go ahead and do that. 3xy times 3 minus c. Replace x plus y with that. And on the right hand side we get the following. Negative z cubed plus 9z squared minus 27z plus 27. That's a cubic, right? Awesome. So let's go ahead and do the following. We have x plus y and now we're going to get xy. So let's go ahead and take x plus y now. x plus y is 3 minus z. Let's go ahead and square both sides. We cubed it, and now we're going to square both sides. And the idea is to get something for xy. Make sense? And now we're going to plug it in. x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equals 9 minus 6z plus z squared. Now remember, this can be written as 9 minus, I mean not 9, 3 minus z squared, okay, replace this with 3 minus z squared. Uh, we're, we don't know what to, uh, x, y is, so leave it at that. And the right hand side is z squared minus 6z plus 9. Okay, now from here we can solve for x, y. Let's go ahead and do it. 2x, y is 2z squared, add z squared to both sides and subtract 3, minus 6z plus 6. And now divide everything by 2 you get z squared minus 3z plus 3. So I got xy in terms of z as well. So if z is a constant, I got the value of xy, I got the value of x plus y, x cubed plus y cubed, so on and so forth. What am I going to do with all of this, right? Here's what I'm going to do. We had the expression for x cubed, y cubed, remember this one? So now uh, we're going to replace the xy with that because we got something for xy. And then from there we're going to solve for x cubed plus y cubed. And then we'll talk about it. Okay? Great. So now here's what we have. x cubed plus y cubed plus 3. Remember we have 3xy. So xy is going to be replaced with this. 3 times z squared minus 3z plus 3 and then times x plus y, and x plus y is 3 minus z, remember? This, right? Awesome. And then this is equal to what? This expression right here. Negative z cubed plus 9z squared minus 27z plus 27. Awesome. What do we find from here? x cubed plus y cubed. So to keep a long story short, we're going to distribute these, you're going to put it on the right hand side, divide by 3, so on and so forth. And eventually, you're going to get the following. Two, uh, x cubed plus y cubed is going to become 2z cubed minus 9z squared plus 9z. So this is basically x cubed plus y cubed in terms of z. Make sense? Okay, since we don't know the value of z, 
We can't find it numerically, but we kind of have an idea what that looks like. Now, here's the very critical part. We are trying to find x to the 7th plus y to the 7th plus z to the 7th. Uh, let's go ahead and find the sum of cubes first. Remember, we had uh, three variables, but we treated them as a two-variable system. Now, we're going to go back and add z cubed to both sides. And that's going to be fun because that's going to give you the sum of the cubes. And that's going to be the following. Z, add z cubed, 3z cubed minus 9z squared plus 9z from here if you just add z cubed, right? And then what can we do? We can do the following. The power of factoring, yay! Take out 3z, which is a common factor, and inside you're going to find z squared minus 3z plus 3. And guess what that equals? You want to cheat? Here, xy, yay! So it's always good to keep track of things. If you write it down somewhere, it's going to be a little easier. Now, why is this helpful, though? Well, here's the thing. From here, I get a really nice identity, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But this is what I'm getting. And I know some of you are like, you could have gotten it in an easier way. That's going to be the first method. Be patient. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide both sides by 3 and show you something that we've been using recently in our videos. And I find this actually amazing, fascinating, uh, you know, incredible, unbelievable, awesome, magnificent, whatever you want to call it. But it's beautiful. So I'm going to replace, and since... Um, if x is positive, x cubed is positive, and vice versa. I'm going to set x cubed equal a, y cubed equals b, and z cubed equals c. This, of course, implies x is equal to cube root of a, and so on and so forth. So here's what we get from there. a plus b plus c divided by 3 equals the cube root of a, b, c, because that's a product. And what does that tell you? If you don't say a, m, g, m, then please look it up, but it's something that you should definitely know. Yes, this is the AMGM inequality. Wait a minute. Did you say inequality? But that's an equality. Yes, AM is greater than or equal to GM, but when all the terms are equal, the GM and uh, AM are equal. This implies A equals B equals C. But what is that? It is X cubed equals Y cubed equals Z cubed. But that implies x equals y equals z equals 1. So x to the 7th plus y to the 7th plus z to the 7th is actually 1 plus 1 plus 1 is, and that is equal to 3. It's as easy as 1 plus 1 plus 1. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, after all these algebraic manipulations, sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Obviously, that is going to be nicer, I promise. All right, so here's the second method. Of course, we're going to rewrite our system. We have x plus y plus z equals 3, and the sum of squared also equals 3. This should be good enough for someone with a good algebraic eye. But you can gain that through practice. Some people ask, like, how do you solve problems like this? By practicing through problems. And there's actually a really good book, Problem Solving Through Problems, even though the problems are pretty complicated. Polynomial is another one, Problem Solving Strategies by, I think, the author name is Arthur An Angel or something like that. Beautiful books. Anyways, I can share with you one day, maybe in a video or in some post, uh, some of the really good problem solving books. I know people have been asking about that. Anyways, so what do you do? Take this and square both sides because that kind of is needed, right? And that gives you x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2 times xy plus xz plus yz. Come on, you already know this. This is 3 squared, which is 9. This is 3. This is 2 times this something. That's called question mark. 9 minus 3 is 6. So this must be 3 as well. 3, 3, 3. So this is also 3. Awesome, beautiful. Why is that awesome? Let me tell you. If this is 3, that means x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals xy plus xz plus yz. This is another form of the inequality, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply both sides by 2 and then put everything on the same side. And then we're going to get something like this. Let me keep a long story short. 2x squared minus 2xy, we're going to split it up and write it like this. x squared minus 2xy plus y squared 
plus y squared minus 2yz plus z squared plus x squared minus 2xz plus z squared. So here's what I did. I split up the x squared into two pieces, y squared into two pieces, and z squared into two pieces, and the minus 2xy and minus 2xz and minus 2yz all stay the same. Make sense? And this is equal to zero. Beautiful. But this is sum of perfect squares, and that is just perfect. Because math is perfect. Math is amazing. Math is love. Okay. So, what is that supposed to mean for real numbers? This means all of these are zero. That means x equals y equals z. That means x to the seven, and of course, they're all, or they're each equal to one. So each of these is equal to one, and their sum is equal to three. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.